Washington former President Donald Trump said on Friday. While GOP rivals Hamas continued to be contaminated during the Netanyahu days after the deadly attacks of Israel and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, he said, Trump, who referred to Netanyahu under name of the pseudonym, published, I stand with Israel, and, I stand with Bibi Inda on real social network afternoon. This was complete contrast to a rally crowd Trump's rally in Florida before he killed best Iranian general United States, he said. And referring to Hezbollah, and fears of Israel could initiate large-scale attack from north of country as, very smart. The comments were widely condemned from White House Trump's GOP competitors and often refrained from attacking former president frontrunner because he remained deeply popular at base of party. In the afternoon of Thursday, Trump's team seemed to be under damage control by sending statements to Israel's past support. He fights Hamas in response the unprecedented surprise attack on October 7. I like Bibi. Hala Bibi. Bye I love the loyalty. I love the first person to congratulate Babide. Trump spokesman Stephen Chung emphasized Trump's record of Israel as President of Israel, including moving the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem and Abraham. Israel did not have a greater advocate and advocate than President Trump, he said. Trump's GOP competitors still continue to attack him for his comments. Former Vice President Mike Pence who campaigned in New Hampshire, said that he found the comments of the former president reckless and irresponsible. Leaders in this country should not send any messages except that America stops with Israel. It was incomprehensible for me talk about the Prime Minister Netanyahu in a critical way and to refer the terrorist organization Hezbollah very wisely, he said. Nikki Haley who served as United Nations ambassador, said that the country needs a presidency that Keeley's knowing difference between good and evil. Chris Christie, former New Jersey government, a Trump critic for a long time, told journalists that the former president is stupid Vayan department should show everyone how spontaneously it is. You are still angry that Prime Minister Netanyahu called Joe Biden and congratulated him to win. The elections in 2020. Can we have a president who cares about him only during such a crisis? New Hampshire. Associated Press writer Holly Raymer in Concord contributed to this report.